Hey, what's going on? Vintage Flipper here, Eric. I'm here with uh, Chernock, Chernock's Connection. I got it. Man, <laughs> I'm always going to be fumbling on that. Um, how you doing? Oh, I'm doing great. I'm doing great. Uh, got some stuff done this morning. Actually took a pair of boots to a like repair shop. They're like a pair of like $250, $300 boots. Yeah. And they, the heel needs to be fixed. And that's the only thing. So... It's just there to make a profit. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so. We're coming to you today. Um, quick story. Uh, so I think it was two days ago. I'm at my local uh, thrift store. And I FaceTime. Uh, I, I walk past the shoes and I'm like, you know, I'm going to call Chris. This dude knows, knows everything about shoes. And I literally like FaceTimed him. It wasn't a FaceTime. I think it was a um, uh, Instagram chat. But anyway, regardless, I'm anal. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually going through and scanning like, you know, across the racks and you're like, stop. What's that? Go back. Grab those. What's that? And uh, I, I'll be the first to admit that um, first off, my philosophy is I'll sell anything that I can make money off of. Yeah, okay? absolutely. But my specialty is clothing, shirts, vintage shirts and uh, vintage clothing. Uh, I, I do a lot of hard goods too. Mm -hmm. I, again, you know, but what I was always afraid of and what I stayed away from, and I know has big money because you know, <laughs> is footwear, uh, especially yeah. men's stuff, right? Yeah, absolutely. And so, how many? How many? Um, how, what's your output? How, first off, what's your inventory look like? I know, and we could you know show pictures later. But what's your inventory right now? And how many do you have listed? And what and what's your death pile look like? Oh, give, got, give viewers an idea of like how serious you are. About I've it. got well, right now like clothing, hard goods, and shoes all together. I got about fourteen hundred listings right now. Um, I was at fifteen hundred, but it kind of like dropped down because I've been selling like crazy uh, in Q four. Um, but uh, probably at the high, the highest point, I probably had one hundred and fifty shoes uh, listed, like one hundred fifty, two hundred shoes. But I, I sell them so you know so fast. It's just like, boom, replace them. Re you know, get some new and, ones. Replace. And them. here's the thing too, and we're gonna go through this in the video. You spend a lot of time. Um, it depends, but you have to. Is it fair to say that every shoe you have to do something to it to get it ready? Yeah. Commit. Like there is, unless they're brand new. Yeah. Well, you have, even, to, do, even you have if, to do something with the shoes. Even if they're brand new. Even what, if. What? They're, uh, I'm I'm really finicky with the laces. I, I gotta get the laces just right for the pictures. Oh, all right. So I tie them a certain I tie them a certain way where I tuck the laces inside so it looks really you know nice and smooth. And then and then especially with new shoes, I hate when the laces are twisted. Do me a favor. Show me. Um, sh pull up one of your listings. With yeah. Your shoes. I'm gonna I'm gonna show. Uh, and, 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 and do like the view where it shows it. Cause I want to show the consistency of all your uh, shoes. They're, they're all like lined up the same way. They all look the same way. They almost look all the same way. <laughs> Here, let me, let me get in there and, uh, let's see. Do a search. Um, go to your public store. Well, this is my, see, right. I, I listed like these boots so you can see how they're like, boom, boom, boom. Well, go, go to one with laces. All right, like so. Whoops. Mm, okay, these are a perfect example right here. These Mizuno's right here. Yeah. I mean, though, like those are brand new, but see, like the laces were twisted up. I always want to show, like the kind of like the emblem or the logo of the shoe, so I won't go all the way to the top. I, I'll I'll lace them up to where I, it's a clear sign, you know sign of what it is, if the Nike symbol, New Balance, Reebok, whatever. So I, I, I like that that view. So and then I think, I think look at the comment. Stop making the rest of us look like sloppy sellers. What's <laughs> that other thing uh, that I, I, I out it. of you? Uh, poor Chris is going to have an influx of people walking through shift thrift shops with him on the phone that's fine put your earphones in and and we can go yeah but i think she's saying other people <laughs> I, I i was on one of her lives i told i told them if if anybody needs to let me know call me yeah FaceTime me, whatever hit me up on instagram and we'll do we'll do it 
So, so I like to do like this angle. I mean, this this angle is like a, it's 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 called something. I forget what it is. My boy Tommy, he he knows what this angle is called. Um, but I like something. It's like a degree. It's like a sixty-five degree or so, something like that degree angle. So, when she when you start charging for that service, she's done. <laughs> And then I like to do this and this, and then a front view. Yep. Back view. Yep. I like to. Those I are the, nice. The airborne view, where you can see like yep. you know, inside. I especially do this with used shoes too. I do this with used shoes, where um, where you can see the inside. You can see kind of the wear and tear of the shoe. So especially. When you have used shoes, you want to take this picture because a lot of people ask for this picture saying, hey, what's the inside look like? Is it nasty? Is it new? And you can get a lot of people that go, oh, wow, these used shoes, the, the logo is barely worn off. That means it's, you know, pretty new. Do me a favor, Chris. I got I got to take this phone call and I don't want to stop the thing. <laughs> um, so uh, I'm, I'm going to I'm going to just bail real quick. Um, That's fine. And I'm going to leave your um, your screen. Do you want me to leave your screen or just uh, – well, I can't leave just you. Yeah. I'm going to leave it like that. Yeah, yeah. That's fine. That's fine. Right, no, I'll be no, right no. back. Just talk about anything. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, there you go. Now, I found these I found these at Gabe's, um, $29.99, and the comps are anywhere from $200 to $350. So I kind of got a sweet spot of – uh, $279.99. Now it's going to take a little bit uh, to sell because they are a smaller size. Um, but you know, and then what I put down here, um, you know, I'll put like, you know, the, the title of the shoe brand new without box. I always tell them if it's with the box or without the box, especially if they're brand new. Uh, I'll tell you this right now, the box adds 20 to $30 to the price. I've learned that if you have it with the box, it adds value to the shoes. And then I put the size uh, in the men's, you know, seven and a half, six and a half UK, 40 EU, because I do have international sellers or buyers and they get my stuff. And then uh, I find a, usually a description online. Uh, if they're a new shoe, you can find a description. So I'll plug that in there. Uh, so if someone's like looking for something specific, it might be in that description. So, uh, but, uh, let me, let me find some like used shoes and I'll show y'all what the used, my used shoes look like. Uh, uh, uh. All right. I'm back. Sorry. Okay. I didn't, I didn't get the connect. So I might bail again. If it rings, I'm out. So you'll know. <laughs> All right. So here's, here's my floor shines. Okay. Now I, now with my dress shoes, I don't tuck them, but I take, I, I retie them. I make sure they're in a certain pattern and then I, I, I make sure the laces flow. Now with dress shoes too, definitely get a pair of these wooden um, shoe. What are the, the, I always forget what they're called. Yeah, They're called the shoe, shoe trees. The shoe trees. I have, I have, um, I have vintage ones. Yeah. I've got probably 20 or 30 of these shoe trees. So you have it. Oh, I didn't even notice. So you have them inside. I have them inside because it, because right here it bulks it up a little bit. Can you do me a favor? Show me the scroll through and show me the photo where you have it. Um, we show the tag. That must be that's the most difficult thing for me. No, no, go oh. back to yeah, go back to that shoe and just show me where you know you take a picture of the inside. Well, of that shoe. Which one? The one you just had up, like oh, the what, floor shine. Okay. Yeah, like you show the uh, the shoe. Yeah, absolutely. Tag. No, yeah, show okay. me that. Yeah, I'll go. Th I'll go through it again. Oh, that's a four shine. Oh. Yeah, these are now. These are this is a definite like. Now these are a definite bolo. These are the Kenmore, and I'll show you something. I show. Uh, do you remember when I posted on Dom's Facebook group? Reseller resource this. Yeah. All right, there's, there's okay. There's the Airborne. Okay, that's that's what the insides look like. And then for these, you know, the back. All right, so this right here, if you find floor shines, and if you. So there's two things you want to look on the bottom when you pick up old vintage wingtip floor shine shoes. Does it have the three or the, the five nails? Ooh. Okay. Does it have the five nails? 
And then up here, you see this little guy right here? Mm -hmm. You know what that? You know what that's called? Mm -mm. It's called a V cleat. Okay. A, a V cleat. So if it has the five nails and a V cleat, you're already on to something. What's okay? a V cleat? This right here. You know how like when you walk, you, you ever seen like worn shoes and and the and one side is like run down. That that prevents it. That, that yeah it, it yeah it prevents it. I mean it, it does get a little worn down, but it makes it not get worn down as much. Is it called a heel cleat or V or V cleat? A V cleat. Oh okay. Yeah. Um. Cool. So yeah. And then I I so see this this is a floor shine imperial, floor shine and Allen Edmonds have like this little side tag that's that's it you know stitched into it. So I always like to take a picture of that. And then there, right there, there's the, there's the number. Now, when you're, when you're dealing with old shoes like this, your, your, your size is right here. Your width is right here. Okay. And then a lot of these numbers right here are like factory date, like this. I, I, it, it's all about the date. Now there's a, there's a huge resource about how to like look these up. Um, but this number right here is your kind of most important number with your floor shine imperials. Okay. This right here, this nine, three, six Oh two. This basically tells me this is a floor shine Imperial Kenmore, uh, five nail V cleat shoe. <laughs> All right. So now that we're on, now we're on that topic, you actually, um, you actually, uh, saw, you know, you, we grabbed a pair of floor. Yeah. Shine. Yeah. All right, so let's real time go through go through this and, and go through the process. Okay. Um, so let me um, let me just make me a little bigger. So this particular one right here mm -hmm. doesn't have the V. It has stitching, or what do you call this? The stitching? Yeah, it's just it's just a sole a, a sole stitching. Mm -hmm. Now look at the look at look at the quality of the sole. Do you think that's worn out? Uh, well, okay. So out? so now this is what you look at. Okay, I'm gonna. I'm gonna I, we haven't talked about this, but I'm a, I'm a, I'm a so if you look at the stitching, okay, yep. around the around the edges, is the stitching still stitched or is it gone? Like this? Yeah, it's still there, right? Yeah, it's uh, it's there. Uh, it's gone on top. It's gone right there. Basically, you may get a little separation there, but I like to I like to see you know, most of the stitching still there. It is with this when it's gone from the sides, that's where you get the holes most of the time. Okay. So don't buy those then. Yeah. When the stitching's like really run down. Yeah. Don't get it. And then yeah. look at the heel. So you see the floor shine right there. Now yeah. you see a little bit of that heel drag where right here. Yeah. No. Well in the back, in the back of it, the back corner. Yeah. You see a little heel drag. That's not bad. That's not bad. But when you take pictures, you want to show that because a lot of a lot of people that buy these you know dress shoes, they you know. So this that's a that, so that's a floor shine, uh, tassel loafer, uh, probably a tassel weave. Loafer. How do you know that? Based on just looking at this, you already knew all that. Yeah. Okay, so you yeah. are. So all right, now here's the numbers if you could see it. Now see when now with all like with most floor shines. You can look it up by the number. Now, if you don't hit the number, yeah, the, the three, two, with the three, zero, two, nine, four. Yep. Okay. So, so let's go to eBay and I'll, re and that's what I like to do first. I like just to hit the number. So read that number out to me again. Yes. It's three, zero, two, nine, four. Okay. So the first thing you want to do is be like, all right, we don't have any matches. Okay. Now with older floor shine shoes, there's so many numbers that's like, okay, you know, you, we're, we're not going to find it. Is there any other number in there? Like yeah. on the bottom? No. It says 11B. Uh huh. DC next to it. And then it says made in Brazil. Okay. So, so, and, and I run into this a lot. I run into this a lot. So, what we're going to do is, so you see those little things that are hanging on it? That's, that's, those are tassels. Yes, I do that. Yes. So, we're going to do tassel. And we're going to do weave. Weave, because I saw the weave here. And we're going to do loafer. Loafer. Okay. And maybe we'll put in leather. Okay. Okay. Now, okay, we get to see. 
we, we get to start seeing these right here. Now, this looks close to it, right? Yeah. Okay. This guy's underpriced it, right? <laughs> Big time. Yeah. So I always like to look at comp, like yeah, we're comp at, yeah. So let's I go to like to comps first. You know, you go to solds or comps. I, I do solds. All right, and then you list, and then you're sorting it by how. Well, I'll sort it by recent just to see like what recently sold. Like I'll see like you know November, you know November, November, November. You know, so three sold in November, which is a lot. But, you know, and then I'll go to highest price and I'll be like, oh, bro, look at these. And then I'll go into this. I'll go in here. Now they say new other. Now so that's brown. Are, what color is this? Burgundy? Um, It's hard. It, that's a, bur yeah, a burgundy or. Mm, would I put burgundy? Like what color would I put in my description or on the title? So you, you want to put the color in the title, right? Yeah, you want the color uh, burgundy. If it's a little bit darker, I would call it an ox blood. What do you think this is then? Hmm, that, that's a to me that's an in betweener. <laughs> no, I I struggle with those. Um, I would call it a burgundy. You know? Okay. Um, I got a question for you from um, uh, uniquely me. Um, explain to him what a loafer versus oxford is okay so a loafer is a slip-on so like you know like that what you what you're this holding a loafer that's a loafer you slip it on or like and then if it has like the little you know like the little divot those are penny loafers you know people used to put their pennies in there you ever see that remember yep. that so those are loafers um your oxfords are your basically your tie-up shoes when you have the uh, and then when you have the design on them like i uh, like the like the the ones I showed in my store, yeah. you have like that, like that kind of like design. Those are those are called wing tips. Got it. So yeah, there's a there's a great floor shine um, online. Some dude just put this whole like database together uh, about floor shine shoes, and yeah. I went there and I just kind of taught myself like, okay, I keep on seeing these. I know they're a good value. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna like keep searching for it. And I'm going to keep looking at this resource. And now I kind of know what to look for. It's like, oh, V cleat, you know, five nail, all those things. Um, and and it just, you just kind of morph it into it. So when you go look through dress shoes, you're, I'm looking, when I go to look for dress shoes, I'm looking for floor shine. I'm looking for Allen Edmonds. Okay. In my top two. It, well, in my area, you have to understand. In my area, I know, it's different. It differs. Yep. You ain't gonna be finding Gucci or you're West Virginia on Pennsylvania. Colorado. Yeah, you're not gonna be finding any kind of like super high. You might. I mean, you might, and I'll and I'll run across it. You can feel the quality. You know when you pick something up. Like I put, I picked up that Burberry kill tie women's shoe. I instantly knew, like, yo, this is something different. I saw. And Burberry. You didn't know what it was, and you didn't know what it was. I didn't know what it was, but I saw Burberry. It looked crazy. I said, I'm getting it. It's six bucks. Okay. Yeah. I'm going <laughs> to, if I charge 20 for it, I'm making money. Well, come to find out those shoes were worth $650 retail. So I threw them up for two, uh, 300, took a best offer for 250. But yeah, th so the more you learn, you just go in there and just like boom, boom, boom. And then if you don't, you just try to search it. You just try. Now with dress shoes, it's a lot harder uh, because. They're older, especially vintage. They're older, and the the data, the data is sometimes not there. I want to give a quick shout out to David M, the car boot picker. Yeah. Hello, everybody. Hello, Eric and Chris. All right, lads, new subscriber here. Thanks for uh, smashing that like button. Appreciate it. He's a he's a good guy. He's a good lad. These are your guys <laughs> coming in now. What I would do? See, the thing is now. When I sell shoes, I make them look nice. So what I'll do is I'll, I'll put those in a, I'll put those, I would put those shoes, I put those in a, um, a shoe tree, mm -hmm. you know, I would, I would get some, uh, now I really don't like, I don't polish a lot, a lot of shoes, mm -hmm. but I'll wipe them down. I'll make them look good. I'll just get some like water and it's not going to stain it unless it's like suede or nubuck. If it's like that glossy, like type leather, you mm -hmm. can hit, you can hit that with with some water especially 
Um, now with the loafers, you don't get that much of, but like the, the toe creases, mm -hmm. if you put that shoe tree in and, and go over it a few times um, with the, with a rag, and sometimes you can do it with an iron too, it gets that crease out. Would you say you spend more time prepping and, 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 and getting these ready than? Yes. Yes. And yeah. so. Because that, yeah. could be, that, could, that could be the difference between selling that pair of shoes you have right now for $29.99 or $39.99 or $49.99. It matters. It matters. Oh, totally. If I just throw them up the way they are right now, I'll get 20 bucks for them. But if I if I do that whole polishing it and cleaning it up and – And yeah. the pictures too. Your pictures make it – Well, like I follow what you do. I actually mm -hmm. use Amazon Studio. Yeah. Um, and it whitens it. Yeah. And I watch your angles. So I, I started mimicking your angles. Yeah. And, and, and I'm telling you. People, people like that, you know, like that look, you know, it, I, I have people all the time go, Hey, can I see the, the, the real pictures of the shoes? And I'm like, these are, these are the real pictures of the shoes. And I'm just, that good. And that makes me feel good. Cause I'm like, man, all right. That's you know? awesome. So, but yeah, that, that's right, so, so your, your final, all right. I, I do everything you recommend picture wise, everything. Mm -hmm. Starting list thirty nine ninety nine. All right. Take best offer. Take best offer. I if you're doing at thirty nine ninety nine, I would take a best offer anywhere from thirty two and above. Free shipping. Free shipping. Yeah. Okay. Now, or if you want to do shipping, go ahead. Like you like to do shipping, so I mean, go yeah, ahead. Going to sell faster. Yeah. Now, do you sell it? Now you do free shipping priority, mm -hmm. so that could eat big time into your. Uh, you know, no. Well, let, for example, I'm on the East Coast. Somebody buys it from California, and that a lot goes to California. Uh -huh. I'm gonna pay, I'm gonna pay more and ship ship. It's gonna be like four dollars versus why? What do you do? Priority? Cubit. What? You do cubit? I don't Should know what cubit is. That'll be for another show. <laughs> yeah, I'll teach you cubic shipping. Oh, okay, interesting. Yeah, but is it is it a different? Is it a third party? That's all I want to know. Or is it? Pirate ship. Oh, pirate, pirate ship. Shipping. I know pirate ship. Yeah. yeah. Cubic shipping. That's how you ship. Pirate it's, ship. Huh? It's, the, it's the bag in the box. If anything that goes, to, any shoes that go to California, bag in, or box and bag, pirate ship. $8.92. $8.92. Every time. Every time. Okay. So think about I'm spending nine bucks to ship. Okay. However you want to do it, I'm spending nine bucks to ship. Okay, so you no. factor that in plus fees and all that. Okay, mm -hmm. all right. Next, we're walking into the women's section, and you're like, "Yeah, but just still walk in the women's section though." And you know, like, I, all right. So, what percentage of your inventory is men versus women? Uh, probably ninety percent men. Okay, ten percent women. But you walked by, and you went, "Boom!" What's that? And you stop. Yeah. So, and it was, and it was these. Yeah. Okay. So let me explain, like, why, why those. So. I know athletic shoes. Okay. Uh -huh. So any, any women's athletic shoes, that's Adidas, Nike, Reebok, Asics, New Balance, all those I know because they're very close to the men's shoe, you know, but a wet, you know, a woman's version, maybe a different colorway, different, a different same style color. though. I mean, meaning like, you know, same concept. Yeah. Same concept like heels and, you know, Rothy's and all that stuff. I don't know about. Well, I should, but I don't know about. So okay. that's something I'm still learning. But just that for me, I can scan a men's shoe rack so much faster than a women's shoe rack. I'm the same way with Cause, clothing. Because a lot of the heels just look the same. Okay. I look, and I'll just look for quality. I'll look for something off the wall. I'll look for quality. Like those, uh, I picked up a pair of Gilda um Doc Martin like knee high women's boots. They screamed out to me because they had a big gold zipper on it. They were, you know, beautiful leather. I saw the Doc Martin like, yeah. you know, the you know, the sole. Those screamed out to me. Uh, a high heel I, I may not you know, I'm You may I'm, expand eventually into all that. But yeah, okay. Yeah. So let's 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 go let's do this one as a case study. Okay. Yeah. Absolutely. So they were sitting there on the shelf, uh, actually sticking out like this. Yeah. Yeah. 
And, and I, said, these are, I don't know if you could pick up my 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 uh, my light is washed out, but um, they're pink. Yeah. Okay. So you went, oh, grab them. And, I, and the reason you said grab them was, and you told me this multiple times, and I still forget the damn name of it. It's boost. a boost. Boost. Yeah. Ah, I remember boost. And it's because of this. It looks like you described this as like a popcorn. Yeah, I took. I, I'm wearing it right now. <laughs> you said, you said, hey man, this. Okay, those are yours. Are those yours? Yeah, I just took this off my foot. Okay, so you like them. So see this right them. here. What is this? You told me something about this. Okay, so when you see that, that's a that that's what they call like in the in the shoe world the Lego brick. The Lego the brick. And that's that's. Uh, so that instantly tells you that's a, well, to me, I know this model. That's a NMD 2.0. Is that, is that exclusive to Adidas or do all yeah. the industries do it? No, that's a, that's a, that's a D that's a Adidas design. When I, see, I, I will it, never see a Lego brick on another kind of brand. I mean, you may, but it's not gonna look the same. Sketchers may, Sketchers may rip them off, you know? Yeah. Now, yeah. How, all right, so here's a good point. Somebody just brought this up. How do I know some boosts are fake? How do I know okay. this is a fake? Yes, uh, uh, and that's Marrakesh 7. Yes, absolutely. I do. Let me run Let me run and show you something. Let me all run right, and show you something. Yeah, so uh, while he's going to run, um, he, uh, he, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, ten pairs of shoes. I'm not in the shoe biz, and he grabbed, he, he had me pick ten. That I would have walked through. All right, so go now, ahead. Now with fakes, though. All right, look at this one. Okay? Yeah, yeah. And now look at this one. Well, this the two stripes. Huh? The stripes are different. No. Like these. That's it looks thing. fake. That looks fake. But the boost. Look at the boost. It's still there. This is a really good fake. They're making they're making fakes that are really really. That good. looks fake. Yeah. Is that the fake? If you saw the original model, you'd be like, and you put this right next to the original model, you'd be like, I can't tell. How can you tell that's a fake again? Again, I bought it off a fake website. <laughs> no, but like, what's but what 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 characteristic makes it fake? If I if I saw that in the wild, because you bought it from a fake website, if you bought this in the wild, you wouldn't know. Why did you Why did you buy it from a fake website? Because well, one, these were highly sought after. And do okay. you tell them it's fake? I hope. I knew it was fake. Yeah, I knew. No, it was fake. when you resell it, are you? Did you buy it? To I'm be not fake? reselling these. No. Oh, you wear I, them. I actually wear these, and they actually feel similar. Mm -hmm. Oh. Yeah the 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 rep the the fake and rep market has gone crazy. Now the ones you have though, yeah, I can guarantee ninety eight percent those aren't fake. Okay. Because so because they're they're not a model. They're not a model that has had were you know were faked a lot. You see what I'm saying? Gotcha. So let's let's. This is a woman's shoe, mm -hmm. woman's sneaker. It's got what what is this called? The boost. This this part right here, this black thing. Well, I call that the Lego brick on the inside. That's a brick on the bottom too. Well, no, I mean no, it's just plastic. But they 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 it look. Here, I'll, let me grab another pair. Hold on, I'll be right. <laughs> well, you have them. <laughs> I hope you don't have to go to the basement. I know because these are all my personal collection. Oh man! All right, so this right here. Yeah. You see this and this right here? Yes. These were like the the First. when NMD came out, they had this and this on the okay. side, and okay. then they had one right here. Yeah. And they, they said, "Oh, they look like Lego bricks." Got it. Like on a shoe. So what year did that come out? The first mm. time you saw a Lego brick. 2015, I think. Oh, they're new. Fairly new. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Boost is boost has only been around for six years. Would you say that boost is the highest demand uh type of Adidas? Yeah. Well, Kanye West made it so popular. So he Kanye, did it. Yeah, Kanye West had it. Are they his designs? Yeah, well. Well, his first okay. So the first um, boost that came out was like this, and then it was like all black, and it had like a purple. They call this a heel cup. It had a purple heel cup. And he, he did though, right? He worked. So he was stunting on them right when they first came out, and everyone, and everyone was like, "Oh my God, Kanye's wearing them. They're popular now." Oh, so I got you. 
Gotcha. But but what I what I said to you that one day, I buy them because I'm 40 years old. I worked in the restaurant industry for 15 years. Right. I ruined my feet. Yeah. These are comfortable. I wear them for comfort. <laughs> so, so don't don't reveal the shoes I wear because you're gonna make fun of me. I wear sketchers, guys. <laughs> I am not a sneaker buff, but he's going to make me one. I'm, I'm going to send you. I'm We're going to watch this video. We're going to watch this video in a year, and I'm going to have a sneaker game, personal <laughs> collection. And we're going to watch this and laugh. Okay? Right. Deal? I'm going to I'm gonna send you. a. am going to find a pair Come on. in My 10 and a halves, and I'm going to send you them. And right. you're going to put them on your feet. I'm not going to I'm not gonna buy anything crazy or like crazy colors. I'm going right. to do a cool like – Cool yeah. looking shoe. Yeah. You're gonna wear it, and then you're gonna say, "What you're holding is is pretty decent." Yeah. Well, this, is that too crazy? This everyone called this crazy. This was the Olympic medal cap. It's got the silver. Yeah, this was the silver medal. That's pack. really pushing it for me. Yeah, <laughs> but like something like this though. Now this is a now this is a different. You know, my son. I think my son has those or something similar. These are real, you know. My son's like, cooler than me, my 17-year-old son. So I mean, these are very tame to me. Yeah. You know. Okay. All right. So let's let's go back to the case study on this. So let's um let's go now, to the video tape. Now, what did you buy those for? What did you buy those for? All right. So I paid I paid four ninety nine. Is these, that a good price? Well, I always say anything under like five, you know, five, six bucks, get it. So if this was seven ninety nine, no, don't go. It was, well, see. I would have looked it up. I would have looked up the model. So let's look it up. Let's, let's right. pretend we're in the store. So th now this will have, okay. So you're going to have, and I, right, I let, me go, let me go to the uh, large. All right. All here right. You go. Can you All read right. that? No, no. Come closer. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I'm working on it. Working on the focus. <laughs> All right. It's not going to work. Let me read it. All right. So you're going to, okay. So th they've got a couple of numbers though. They've got a couple of numbers. You're, you're going to, it's probably, it's the, it's got two letters. And four numbers. Okay, here. Two letters and four numbers. Hopefully. <laughs> ART. Read me the ART number, and I'll. I don't. Eight Y. Nine three one four. Yeah, yeah, the ART number. So what was it again? Okay, it's um. I need glasses, man. Eight R. <laughs> I need a magnifying glass. 8Y9314. AY9314? Yes. Please don't okay. make me repeat it again. No, that's not it. Okay. All right, hold on. Let me go to the light. Oh, much better. A B? I, uh, is, that a B? is that a B or an A? A B Y. Yeah, B Y. B Y. Yep, I got them. All right, so we got some pre owned. These are, these are the. In uh, Adidas Originals NMD R2 Women's Sneakers Core Black. Okay. Now look at look at the one above at sixty four dollars. Yep. Look at the difference. This to make your case. Look at the um mm -hmm. the, the the photo, the white photo versus like just sitting there. You exactly. know, on wood. I mean, look at that. That looks nice. Now they 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 took a nice picture and then they put it on the bed. Oh. <laughs> they fooled everyone, but hey. Sometimes your first picture make you know makes yeah, everything. Always make sure your good first picture looks good. Okay. Now, so now the thing is like four sold within the last three months. All right, is that decent? Eh, it's kind of slow, but 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 you know what though? Pause though. Pause. We looked it up by the style number. Okay, that's the one thing that you kind of have to once you get the style number. Then you take the Adidas NMD R2 Black Women's. You All right, so do that. that. Um, so, oh, I see. There's, there's a lot of people who put the style studio. number in in their listing. Okay, so those are that, that's the result of just style number. Now we're going to take the style number out and then go. Okay, mm -hmm. and then hold on, and then we're going to go over here. Do black, and I don't. Hold on, let me. Now you, we're gonna hit women's shoes. Hey, Dave. Okay. Now we're gonna look at, and then we're gonna do pre-owned. Whoa! Oh, that's new. We're gonna do pre-owned. Okay. 
Now wow. you don't have the, you don't have the Supremes though. No. But you have these, and these are the ones we looked we saw. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So now tell me, tell me now it was it was kind of hard to see the boost on it. How clean is the boost on yours? Yeah, very clean, right? Clean. Exactly. exactly. Clean. When you're when you're selling Adidas boost, it's all about the cleanliness. Some dirtiness here. A little, a little bit, a little bit. Right there. See it? Hit hit that with a magic eraser. You can get you can get 80% of that off. Okay? okay, now, now what about the bottoms? They're dirty. That's fine. You walk on them. Eraser or no? I would I would hit them real quick. And if it doesn't come off, don't worry about it. It's okay. Yeah. And then with um, that, what's the tip for this? The price, uh, the price on it. That's a, that's silver Sharpie, right? Yeah. You're going to, you're going to do alcohol. Night alcohol. Okay. Yeah. The, what's it? The 93% alcohol. And just so, rub it and just rub don't, it. don't use Gooby gone. You can, yeah, you can use that too. You can use that too. Okay. Um, go the, uh, the, the, that sometimes, depending on what, how, you know, what you have on there. Yeah. It may take that off. Like sometimes you like, you know, like cleats have like that silver. Yeah. Like it, it will take that off. Gugon will take that off. So okay. I, usually, I usually use alcohol. I start it in one little area, test it. And then I'm, I've done it enough to where I can, I can be like, Oh, some, something's on this. I know what takes that off. Yeah. You, um, you different applications. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. If you have, a lot of now it's weird that yours is well, it's not weird, but I've seen silver marker. If you have grease pencil, do you ever see like stuff yep. in grease pencil? Yep. Here's a tip. Here's a tip. If it's in grease pencil, you want to take go to go to Walmart, go to Target, buy the suede new buck cleaning kit. It's like four bucks. And they have like a little eraser that looks like in there. That takes off. A grease pencil. I I have never come across a grease pencil. I'm gonna be me personally. I get you, but me personally, yeah. where are the viewers? Where are the viewers? Oh, yeah. I'm gonna be using silver. Yeah, your 93 percent uh, iso isophilic alcohol or whatever it's called. What about what about um oh, Vaseline? Yeah. yeah, magic eraser. You, magic eraser sometimes work on that. Vaseline. I really don't. I I've never really used it. Okay. Uh, I, I couldn't, I couldn't say. All right. I, I've heard, I've heard that it works. I just never use it. All right. So what the condition I have it after I clean it up, after I, you know, do the great photos with the angles yep. and, uh, you know, uh, uniquely me gets made fun of because of that angle or her angles, but we're going <laughs> to anyway, because we're tough and we don't care if people make fun of us because money talks. And BS walk. She, her angles, she got made fun of. It was all like weird, like this. Was it like this? Like no, no, she had both shoes going the certain uh -huh. way. She had oh, like this. Kind of spreading their legs or something. And someone commented like, are they going to walk like that? Like all crooked? All right. So, okay. All right. Inside joke. Gotcha. So, all right. So what I'm going to go. So what's the, uh, what's, what's the drum roll? What do I list these at? So drum roll, please. I would say. Kind of like looking at just like, you know, I'm looking at where, you know, everyone's, you know, it's all over the place. Me personally, I like to stay consistent. I would list them at $59.99, take a best offer. Okay. $59.99, take a best offer. And your best offer would be like 45, 40, 40 and up. You're making your money 40 and up. I would I'm take making it. my money at 30, but, but to get the most out of it. To get the most out of it. Because you never know when someone's going to be like, boom, $59.99. They don't even offer. They, they say they want them, and that's it. Okay. So. Great. So we went through two. We're not going to go through all of them. And then one more. What size was that? Um, This was a size 8 US. A size 8. That's perfect. Look at this. Look at this, Eric. Wait. Let I me just, uh, load it. Whoops. Okay. I, Oh, wait, wait, wait. Cancel that. We got to go. Wait, wait, wait. I knew it was too good to be true. What'd you okay, do? Size eight. Okay. That's how you. All right. So this isn't yours. This is, you know, and this is a crappy photo. 
And this is oh, so now I'm competing with size because sneakers are different. Yeah, you're competing with size, but look, you're competing with size and condition. But look, hold on though, yours aren't blue, are they? No, exactly. Now so go to the solds on eights. Hit the sold. Uh, well, we, hold on. Just on the bottom, or completes. Hit completes. I want to see if like um, or oh, completes, completes. There's there's yours right there, pre-owned. You want to be in that ballpark right there. That's why I said fifty nine ninety. That was in September. Yeah, but it's 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 Q four, so why not go for it? And right. the thing is, hold you shoes. You're gonna have to hold on to a little bit. You're gonna have to hold on to. Yeah. You don't have that much invested in them. Hold it, you know. Hold on, hold on to them for a little bit. Okay, it's totally worth it. All right, let's go to um, uh, an another category. We did a men's, we did a women's. Let's go okay. to the kids category. Kids. <laughs> All right, and um, so right here. Yes. I can saw these. You saw the color, and you're like, "Go back, go back." Yeah, I saw the color and the model right away. All right. So what is so by looking at this, like real quickly, what what is it off the top of your head? Nike Air Force One, God. AF One. But it doesn't say that anywhere. I know, but dude, so you know, know your shoes, obviously. Do you All know right. how many I've sold of those in that no. style? No. I mean, not hundreds, but probably. 30, 40 pairs of those. Okay, what makes them so great? Even if they're kids. They're iconic. They're classics. Like, what year are these? Now that's hard because those those date back to you know early 2000s. So that could be from 2000 to now. Because they, oh, okay. they re released the colors. But I will show you how to figure that out. What's I'm right, going to the tag. That's why I'm okay. looking down. So we're gonna do all right. Let me let me get it. Let me. We're going to do Nike, because I know those are Nike. Uh, there's a nine-digit number, so it's six numbers, dash three numbers. Yep, got it. That's how you look up the model code for Nikes every single time. 820. Okay. 438-602. Dash Perfect. Uh, three. Got it. 603. Wait, 603. Yeah, my eyeballs. <laughs> there we go. All right, here we go. So these are the all right. Wow. Yeah. Nike Air Force One LV8 men's GS. No, hold on. What's the size? Oh, um, six Y. Six Y. Whenever you see a six Y, anywhere from a one Y to a seven Y is a youth. Okay. Shit. Okay. So GS means grade school. Okay, that's how a lot of people put GS is grade school. What does that mean? Grade school, like yeah. kid in grade school. Oh, grade school. Yeah. Oh. So these are the Air Force One LV8 grade school size 4.5Y. These are their size. Holy moly. Okay. But see, pre-owned right here, you know, yours are in really nice condition. Definitely you're going to use that magic eraser to yep. take to clean this. Now, when, when you're doing the magic eraser, a lot of people think, all right, I'm going to do the magic eraser and rub it really hard and fast. No. Get your magic eraser, get it wet, and just slowly just go. Just Because slowly. Uh, when I do it real fast, like you, because that's how I do it, whoops, um, it, it leaves like debris. And yeah. It, and it rips apart. Exactly. To, to make it not rip apart, you're just going to go very slow, just very slow on it. And it'll eventually take it off. Now, it's going to take time. But again, we're going to look at these solds, all right, versus, hey, look at these pretty – now, these these are new. These are pre-owned. But look, a white sole compared to a, you know, a dirtier sole, you know. Look at that one right there. That's brand new. Okay. Yeah, but look, look at this one, $39.99, you know, and they got it. They, these are very, very clean. Gotcha. So you're you're at a $39.99 – Oh, that's you. I got nervous again. That's thirty nine nine. You know, that's that's anywhere from forty nine ninety nine to thirty nine ninety nine. And the price was three ninety nine. Yeah, exactly. That's why I said how much are those? Because usually when you run across those at a Goodwill, Salvation Army, or anywhere else, they know Nike sells 
I can't believe you got those at three ninety nine because I've seen those at nine ninety nine, twelve ninety nine, nineteen ninety nine at some thrift stores. Now, is this okay? Look at that. That that's worn out like that. Yeah. That's okay because it's the outside. Is it? Is it tore? Is it? No, is no, the, tore, no tears. No tears. So you're fine. It, look at the heel around the heel. Is that torn? No, no, no. Inside, inside the heel. Is any of that torn? No. No. I mean, they're used shoes. People understand that you're wearing a used shoe. So I always make sure there's nothing torn. Nothing. You know. Even if it's torn, would you have taken a gamble on these? Oh yeah, yeah. A, a minor little minor, minor little tear. I would have taken. You still would have taken it. I would, for three ninety nine. I would have taken them all day. Now, the laces, let's say the laces are dirty, or in this case, all right, you see how this lace has it? What do you call that end thing? Aglet. That's an aglet. Aglet? Aglet. A G L E T. Aglet. Okay, and then no aglet. <sighs> ah! Hold on, hold on, hold on. They're white laces. Okay? They're white laces. Yes. You're missing one aglet, right? Yes, one. Big deal. Okay. Big deal. Now, if these were dirt, well, they're not the brightest, but you know, they're 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 not dirty. So when I so when I do when I do my shoes, when I clean my shoes, I take all the laces out. Yes. I get a little bit of water, put yes. a little oxyclean in it, yes. hot water, oxyclean, mix it up, throw the lace white laces in there. Will it mess up the aglet? No, it won't mess up the aglets. No. So, and then just let them sit because do you want to, should I be doing that for these? Yeah. Yeah. I would, I would soak those laces in some OxyClean. Okay. Yeah. Now, the, yeah. now the one thing too, here's a, here, here's a, man, I'm giving away all my secrets too. <laughs> that's good. So what you want to do. So basically that aglet that's missing, you're going to have a hell of a time getting it back through that hole. Right. So take, get some, uh, get some tape. Yeah. I was going to say Scotch tape. And wrap it really, really like hard, and then round it out with your fingers. Should I leave it that way? You may. I've done that too. Leave but it make, the tail. Make sure, make sure you put that in the description though. I'm always Is honest missing about an aglet. Yeah, missing an aglet replaced with plastic. Got it. Now this blue one. Should I put these in the OxyClean? No, I would just get a little bit of uh, a. Dish uh, not a little like maybe uh, you know your washing detergent and put it in there. Same same with a different color. Same with that. Yeah, because the only thing I'm putting in there is uh, white. White with your OxyClean, you want to put white. Got because it. Because you can get you can get bleeding. Because I've I, dude, trust me, I've done this before. I put it. I put them all together in the OxyClean, and some laces started bleeding, and then. And then it was on top of the white, sh on, on the white shoelaces. And say so you have a blue shoelace, it bled onto the white shoelace. So oh. I'm going to start all over with you the do white. It separately. Huh? You yeah, should do, do the white separately. Yeah, do it separately. You, you shouldn't put all the whites together. You should like, each sneaker should have its own time. You, you can put all the whites together. The whites yeah. are fine. Put all, all right. the whites together and then, and then, and then put your, put your dark colors together and then put your like, kind of lighter colors together. So, and how many would you say you do at the same time? And how do you, how do you keep track of which one goes to what shoe? <laughs> All the secrets. I know I'll take a little piece of tape, like a masking tape. I'll put it on the end and I'll mark it a, like a, like, you know, my own code. I'll make yeah, a little code in my head. Like, okay. You know, this yeah. white lace went to yeah. You know, I appreciate I'll, I'll, you. I appreciate you giving away all your secrets. It's 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 okay. Like I want people to sell. You know what I'm saying? I want people to sell. These are golden, man. Like you are the wizard. <laughs> You're blowing my mind. <laughs> I'm blowing my mind. Because <laughs> um, you know what to look for, but then you know how to prep them, and you know. Yeah. So, would you say the bulk of your sales are sneakers, mm. vintage clothes? No. Mm. Eh, I don't know. It, it's, it's, what's a, your go to? What's it, your go to? Like, what do you get? Like, you go to a thrift store. What section do you go for first? Okay, so my honey hole. I go yeah. to the shoes. I they they have a small yeah. shoe, so I can just be like, boom, look, because that's what goes the fastest. Oh, that's why. 
like I, I've been in this one place, like my the place I volunteer at. I've gone in, saw a pair of Jordans. I'm like, oh my God, they got Jordans. All right, I'm gonna get those. I'm gonna go upstairs real quick and look, and I'm gonna get those. Spent five minutes upstairs. There were like three people in the store, and I'm like, whatever. Come back down. They're, they had already been gone and paid for. Did you kick yourself? Yeah. I'm never, and, I, and I've learned. I've said, you know what? I'm, 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 when I see something, I'm grabbing it and putting it in my basket. Done. Unusual so. vintage. Thanks for watching. Thanks for all the great info. And it's coming from that dude right there. <laughs> whoop, 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 whoop. So, I mean, but yeah, but I like to do, I, my thing right now though is jackets. I'm, 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 I'm sick in the mind with jackets because I've done so well with, you know, jackets. What am I into? You're into wood carvings. <laughs> Look at these. These are going to. <laughs> yeah, you're wood carving elephants. Well, no, these sell big time in my, I, I have a shop, uh, a, yeah. a, a real shop. And so these go like crazy. And I buy them for like 50 cents. Yeah. And I'll sell, like, so I have a family. But um, the ones that really go, this is a smaller one, but this one will really go. Because his trunk is up. Oh yeah, yeah, the trunk up elephant. This is this is a vintage carving. So I actually bought a whittling kit. I'm gonna make my own as a hobby too. <laughs> nice. And so if I if I show up like you know I look like I'm doing this, I may have cut I may have cut my fingers <laughs> off. Right. <laughs> Unusual right. Richard says he's so scared that he'll buy fakes. Okay. That's something that happens. Okay. You will be, you throw them it, away. It's a loss. So you can throw them as a fake. Sometimes, you know, if it's too good to be true, what do they say? It probably is. Okay. Sometimes you come across where it's like, oh my God, I found it. Okay. You just have to do your research. If it's a, if it's a, if you look it up, if you look up the code and they're worth 800 to a thousand dollars, they are probably, they may be fake. Okay. If you're walking in and finding Yeezys, you know, for three bucks, you know, th they're probably fake. I've, I've run across fake shoes and there's a, there is a market of fake shoes. You can't sell them on eBay. You can't sell. I usually said like, like I picked up a pair of fake Yeezys and I said, Hey, whoever wants these, I'll, you know, pay shipping and they're yours. You just you just build goodwill like that. Look, it it happens. It happens to the best of us. I you know, regardless of shoes, because that's not my game. Shirts and other things, mm -hmm. I bring it home and I'm like, oh, look at the hole. Now sometimes that's okay if it's vintage, but if it's like supposed to be new with tags, yeah, and you've got a pool that you missed, you yeah. know, or a stain you can't get out, or you know, it happens, man. It happens. Yeah. And you just, you just so you move was, on. You don't focus on it. Exactly. Exactly. You just now, go, you just say, yeah, you're like, well, that was a screw up. Shit. Yeah. I, I had a pair. So I'll give you a perfect example. I went to uh, this place, this flea market. Dude had a lot of high-end stuff. Like he bought high-end stuff. And he had a pair of Gucci shoes, yeah. a pair of Prada shoes, yeah. and a pair of Nikes. Yeah. I looked at the Gucci's because, and I looked at the Pradas and I'm like, these are real. Like I, 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 I took out the soles. I did all this stuff, everything told me they're real. They're real, they're real, they're real. He had this other pair of Nikes, and I was like, you know what? I'm just getting those. And when I got home, I looked I looked at looked at the style code, and I kind of knew what they were, but I didn't know how much they were worth. They were the, the Nike SB Dunks Tiffany Jewelry Edition, like the, with the Tiffany blue. And these go for – I trust you. <laughs> these, go, these go for like – these go for – 800 to a thousand dollars used. And I got so excited. I'm like, Oh my God. And, and, and I was so excited and I put them on the shelf and I'm like, Oh man, this is great. And so about like three days later, I'm like, all right, I'm gonna take pictures of these. And I laid them up on. And sometimes like when you lay them in the light, you start seeing things. And I'm like, wait a minute, wait a minute. There's something off. There's something off about these. I looked them up and yeah, lo and behold, they're fakes. So, so what'd you do with them? So I held them forever. I, I held them forever. 
just to just to kind of t- like you know walk past as a as a as a memory like hey motivation motivation this is this is things that happen you move on you missed out you, you didn't spend that much on them but you missed out because they're fake okay yeah and then yeah the more you handle sneakers and shoes the less you make this was kind of early in my career you know learning about all these sneakers and, and buying and reselling and you know so i kind of like just like left them in, in my in, in my basement well, I had, I had some, a friend of a friend come over and they were going through the basement in crazy amazement. They're like, Oh my God, look at all this stuff. You have awesome stuff. And then the guy was like, yo, are those what I think it is? And I'm like, you think they're that, but they're not, they're fakes. And he's like, well, how much would you charge me for these? Cause these are, these look badass." And I was like 40 bucks. And he's like, done. <laughs> he's like, I can't wait. He's like, none of my friends are going to know. I don't care. So. All right. Well, how, how, we're what? 56 minutes in. Yeah. Let's, um, all right. Let's see. Um, let me, let me do a uh, shameless plug of our uh, Instagrams. Um, let me pull up yours. All right. Um, so guys, if you, you probably already follow him, but here is his Instagram. This is Chris's. Give him a follow right now. Chernox Connection. All right. And uh, you don't, you, you, I think you're going to start, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think you're going to start posting more now. Yeah. Well, I post in the story. You do stories. You do I, stories. But um, because I, my thing is, I think most people look at the stories. They do. But, but like stuff like this, I yeah. saw this and I went, oh, and it, look at my comment was, look at you. <laughs> You know, like you did a bumper for your video. I'm like, oh, yeah. that's the first time I ever saw that. Yeah. So I go to your story here. All right, you checked out my YouTube video. I, I posted it this morning. If you already checked it out, you know I did like a little. Like I had a few uh, giveaways in there. You basically like pay for uh, shipping, and it's yours. My boy MD3 just got the Penguins jersey. Okay, that beats the cash though. But you got the Penguins jersey. I'll be sending that to. Them. Charging. So, so that was awesome. So you you did you did interaction, and you said at the first person to DM me, I'm mm-hmm. just you just pay shipping because yeah. tell the story. You have you have a um, I'm a Washington Capitals fan. Okay, yeah, yeah. Uh, the, the Penguins, I, it, the, you know, I, I have them tons by me because I'm from. I'm not, I'm not a Penguins fan. I'll just tell you that I'm not a Penguins fan. Last year, I bought a Penguins hat, Stanley Cup champions hat. I don't know why I bought it. I, I put it on eBay during the playoffs. The Caps were in the playoffs. I put it on eBay, and the Caps lost that series. And I blamed myself. <laughs> I do that. I blamed myself for buying that hat and putting it on eBay. I do the same thing. I, I, do saw, the same that, thing. I saw that, and I said, you know what? I'm going to buy it, and I'm going to give it away. I did that when I was 12 years old with the New York Mets. Um, they, when they won the World Series, I'm telling you my age. I was 12 years old in 1986. And so uh, um, I had to wear my Mets hat everywhere I went. I couldn't take it off. And my mom's like, we're going to church. I'm like, uh, 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 I'll, stay, I'll stand in the back. You know, we're at the dinner table. table. My grandmother would even say to me, like, you know, you're going to lose your hair. You're going to be bald. And I'm like, I don't care. Mets are winning. So anyway. I'm with you. I'm with you. Hey, here's um, your bud said you need to make more white. I know. I know. I'm, 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 I've got all kinds of ideas. It's just planning them out and doing them. Yeah. My next, my next bolo quickie video. If y'all haven't yeah. seen my bolo quickies, I've already done. I just did one. But my next bolo quickie video is gonna be on a pair of shoes. So okay. let, me do, let me do another. Uh, this is a shameless plug for me. Sorry, guys. <laughs> here's. <laughs> Follow, follow me. I'm the vintage flipper. And look, look at this. Uh, actually, this was uh, what we talked about. <laughs> I did a comp. I, I give you a shout out. Um, and I like to do uh, stories as well. So my buddy, get those. Get those. Nice. <laughs> I was talking about the story of us uh, getting those. Yeah, which we just saw in here. But um, I love doing the stories because it's so like you can just do fast, easy, boom. 
you know. And I'm, stories. I get, and I'm, I'm, I'm trying to be more consistent. Food. I'm trying to be more consistent. Yeah. And I'm trying to be more consistent here. Yeah. I, um, I get, I get and, way more viewers. I'll get like 100, 120 people watch my stories. And I'll get like eight likes or 12 yeah. likes on a picture. Yeah. You know, I'm kind of like, well, should I spend time doing pictures or should I just do – or, you know, spend more time doing stories? Yeah. It's easy for me to screen cap something like that and just, you know. Yeah. And that's why that's I keep telling myself. I'm like – it was easy to do like, you know, something like this. Yeah. Yeah. I'm like screen cap it. Yeah. Like this, like this took a lot more effort and this was stupid. You know, I didn't sell one thing, you know, um, this, you know, I don't get it. I used to get a lot more likes. I don't, uh, because I haven't been, I've been consistent. Now this, this like being helpful will get a yeah. lot. Yeah. But, but oh, this yeah. was a repost. Was that so, from tags and threads? Spill out die. I love him. Okay. Yeah. 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 Spell it. You know I love, he, he shows like the celebrities wearing the shirt yeah. and he'll show the shirt. <laughs> yeah. Like, like, look. Yeah. And then he, and then he shows like, you know, then look at that white zombie. White zombie. Yeah. Wow. This guy. And look at this, like wild oats. Mm -hmm. You see that? You go back up. You see that UCLA? I got something very similar to that. I just picked up this. Yeah. Do you, do you have him, Joey? Yeah. <laughs> uh, is it bad that I actually know that that was Joey Lawrence? No. Is that bad? I think that's bad. Oh, no. You know what band, right? Yeah. Go ahead and say it. I, I'm going to test you. That's New Kids on the Block. Okay. All right. All right. Yeah, all right. And you better know who this is. Yeah. <laughs> and you better know who this is. Oh, I, I, I designed a shirt. A Marilyn Manson shirt. I can't believe you did all that. Is it? Is this your shirt? No, no. I did. A, I did a bootleg version. <laughs> oh god! Oh, you're that guy. Uh, I I love. I get excited when I find these. You know. You know what kills me? Looking at that giant tag. Yeah. Knowing all those shirts I had in the '90s that had that tag on it that I, I don't have anymore. I know. I had all my shirt. I'm a t-shirt guy, and I had so many. Like all my like, I was a big fan of Tool. And I, think oh. was cool. I had like eight Tool shirts. No idea where they are. All from like the nineties. I had uh, you ready to cry. I had Nirvana shirts. Yeah, me too. Oh yeah. Do you me know too. how much Nirvana shirts go for? Oh, I know. Yeah. Oh, I know. I had and I had a lot of these of my teams. You see that Rage Against the Machine shirt? Yeah. Like, you see that one right there? This is that I had the, one. I yeah. had I had that. It's Tolux. It's a giant. No, it's Tol Toltex. No, here's a question. It says Tol Toltex. Now the giant says giant Toltex. See how the one has it? Yeah. They, they, you got to understand though, like giant by TJ's, giant by Anvil. What's the difference? Giant by Tolex. It was just because that Brit, that that they combined that company, like you know, basically. That company that made those shirts for the artist used those shirts and made their own tags. Got it. Did you um, love Tool? Did you uh, uniquely me? Did you get the new Tool? Did you listen to that? I, I killed it the first week it came out. Yeah, right. Um, I lost all my concert oh. in a fire. Oh my! I'm more. I missed them more than my family heirlooms. We won't tell your family. Yeah, I don't know where all my shirts are. I think they were. I think I think they were. I think my mom threw them out. Well, my mom got rid of them. She's yeah. like, she's like, your nipples are showing through these. Throw them away. I'm like, Pfft. or like, oh, it's it's got holes in it. Throw it away. Oh, <laughs> my my Mets shirts. I my Daryl Strawberry shirts. So I I showed you about these cartoons. I I had I had every friggin' Met player with this version. Yep. Yeah. Oh yeah. It's it kills me about all the stuff that I had and I'm just like, Oh man. All right. We kind of veered off. That's um, okay. <laughs> no, it's good. It's good. So, um, I think, uh, let's, let's call it. We've been uh, broadcasting for an hour. Um, yeah. I wanted to focus on, we didn't get through all the shoes, but that's okay. We had so much. And we, yeah, I think a lot of people learned a lot of stuff and you know, we, oh, absolutely. We're going to do these again, guys. Yeah. Uh, Chris and I are going to collaborate some more. Um, I think we're, we are talking about doing one where, 
uh, we do a YouTube live while I'm in the store and you're like going, stop, look at there, look, go there. Now look at that. Now turn yeah. that around. And, you know, so depending on the connectivity I have, it was pretty good, right? Yeah, I it was good. Yeah. I didn't flutter. But so it, we, might, we might do something like in action, something mm -hmm. like that, guys. So, um, yeah. So we appreciate you for uh, following. Uh, give a like to this video. Uh, follow Chris. Yeah. And um, throw on the notifications. Okay? Here. And if you're watching, hold on. Uh oh, you can give him a free way. He's giving something away, I think. Oh. If you want women's jeans, okay? Message me. Ah! Pay, <laughs> pay shipping. Pay shipping. That's all you have to do. And I will send you these jeans. That's it? They're all kinds of stuff. They're, they're. Give me the brands real quick. Show I them. got Banana Republic. I got. Eddie Bauer, LL Bean, you know. Why are you doing that? Huh? You don't, you don't like to sell them? No. And, and that's the only reason you give it. There's nothing wrong with them. They're going to make money. They're going to make money. I'm, I got 15 pairs of jeans. I'll send you. I will send them to them. How so much? How them? much? How much? The, uh, how much uh, shipping? It's going to be like 15, 20 bucks shipping. And how many jeans? 15, I think. A dollar a piece. You're, dollar making, piece. you're gonna make your money. Exactly. So, I mean, giving back to the community, guys. Even, yeah. If you so, if you want, even if you're watching on the replay, just let me know. And if they sell, I'll tell Eric. Hey, pen and post that says uh, Chirox giveaway is is called for. So cool. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, and we'll put yeah. it in the comments and all that stuff. I think, and then my videos, I'm gonna be giving. I'm I'm gonna start doing some giveaways because I got. Eric, you've seen. I've got so oh, much dude, stuff. You're, I would love to pick you. I know, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So thank you again, everyone. I appreciate anybody who's brand new and subscribed to me or came through through Chris. Appreciate it. Um, yeah. And, uh, yeah, we'll see you next time. But thanks, Chris. No problem, man. All right.